guys how's everybody doing today i hope that everybody's doing great welcome back to my channel hello my name is carla if you haven't been here before um welcome for today's video i have decided that i'm going to try a bunch of makeup that i found at dollar tree um i feel like this video is going to be a lot of fun and very interesting um some of the stuff actually looks really good so i'm kind of excited about this because if those products do work out I mean, hey, they were only a dollar, and they're very affordable, so you, you never know. There might be some really good stuff at the Dollar Tree, so that's why I've decided that today, that is what I'm going to do. So, I have my stuff right here, um, thing that I'm going to do. Now, I have, I think I have almost everything for a full face of makeup. The only couple of things that I couldn't find were um, primer and... Um, let's see, I think it was like primer and powder, but I will let you guys know as I'm going what, um, I have to incorporate from somewhere else, but let's get put this foundation in my face. Um, by the way, my mirror is also from Dollar Tree. I love this mirror. I found it a couple of years ago and I would purchase it every so often because I just love it so much. But yeah, that's how do I do this? I'm just gonna put it in my sponge and go from there. Let's see how this works. This was the darkest shade they had, and I think it's gonna work out just fine for me. So bad. I mean, if it wears well, it might not be a bad foundation. It doesn't look too bad. I think what's making that not look that great is this sponge. So I decided to bring back up, and I brought my own sponge. So I think I'm going to use my own sponge just to kind of see how the foundation does, you know, because I really want to see. And don't mind it; it's kind of dirty. I have to wash it today. I honestly had not I, I had no high hopes for this whatsoever like I am wow I'm actually impressed okay so concealer was one of the things that I could not find at Dollar Tree so I'm going to use my elf um, camo concealer and the color sand medium sand um, so I just finished my face and um it looks really good i mean i'm so surprised i am so so surprised by um that foundation i mean it looks it looks really good it looks really really good and that color actually matched me perfect the only thing that sucks is that they only have three shades and two of them are super light and then this is the darkest and i'm not very dark i'm you know kind of light and it looks really good i am so surprised and i'm so impressed wow i can't i can't believe it okay so <clears throat> the next thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna set my under eyes and i have this um la colors contour like a duel that i got at um dollar tree obviously everything that i have here is dollar tree except for the things that i had to incorporate into my look um so I think I'm going to use this. I'm going to try to use this to see if I can set my concealer and my face. Um, but if not, I did bring the um, Wet n Wild Photo Focus um, Translucent Powder. And this is like less than $5 at Walmart. Does not look bad at all. Like, not at all. And, you know, nobody's going to see what name brand stuff you wear in your face all they see is how you look but they don't see you know this is la colors or this is dollar tree you know they don't see that so if it looks good then you know it's nice on your pocket and i have to say it looks good it looks really good so i'm just gonna go ahead and set my whole face using that same powder as well just 
it doesn't feel sticky or nothing but I just like to make sure that my face is nice and set before I add more powder okay so my face is nice and set um, one thing that I did want to try really quickly and I was trying not to touch that part of my face too much is I got this highlighting stick um, it's called the Face Forward All Over Highlighting Stick by Sinful Colors. And they have a lot of Sinful Colors stuff, and I have a lot of it here. Um, a Dollar Tree, and I've never, I had never seen it before, so I was very excited to pick this up. So I'm just going to try and see how, and this area is still kind of sticky, so it's good. The powder didn't touch it too much. So I'm just going to add this to my face and see how it looks. I've never tried um, makeup from Simple Colors. I've only tried their um, nail polishes, and I do like their nail polishes a lot, so I'm excited. Ooh, this packaging is so cute. All you could see um, from the carton was the black, but it's like a rainbow on the other side. This is really cute. Oh, and I think I got mine. Mine is in the color Afterglow. I think they had different shades because I remember seeing like a rosy kind of color. This is more like a champagne kind of color. So I'm just going to go ahead and just add a little bit to my cheek just to see how it looks. Ooh. Just grab my sponge. And my sponge is getting a little dry so I'm just going to go ahead and grab my setting spray. It's the Wet n Wild Cucumber and I'm just going to spray it just a little bit. Just to kind of get it, you know, damp again. So I make sure that that highlighter spreads evenly and nicely. I'm going to contour my face. Not really contour, but I'm just going to, you know, bronze out my, my skin using the bronze side of that little duo. And see how it goes. really impressed with everything that I've tried so far and my skin just looks really good like even the bronzer looks really good oh my gosh I'm so excited about this I am so 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 excited about this let me tell you why I'm so excited I'm so excited because I feel like makeup just keeps getting more and more expensive um, I feel like lately, like, brands have been coming up with such amazing products, like, higher-end brands are coming out with, you know, amazing products that drugstore wants to create those products as well, but they can't sell it at the prices that they used to, you know, so they've been upping up the prices, and just makeup keeps getting, getting, and getting, and getting, and getting more expensive, and if we can find good affordable things you know why not why not and so far I am so impressed with this makeup I am so excited like I am so excited and I think you guys can tell because <laughs> I won't shut up about it but even the bronzer looks really good just looks really good. I actually did like this little kit. I mean, I can see myself using this makeup for every day. Like, if it wears nice, I can see myself wearing this makeup for work every day. Because I don't want to be wearing, you know, my expensive stuff for work where I'm, like, sweaty and stuff all day. So, I mean, yeah. I'm excited to see how this is going to wear. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to use is blush, and I couldn't find a blush at the Dollar Tree. I know that Dollar Tree always sells e.l.f. stuff, and I have seen in the past like e.l.f. Br uh, blushes and stuff, and those are really, really good. Um, but I couldn't find a blush this time, so I'm going to grab the blush that comes in this little kit right here. My daughter actually got me this little kit um, when she went with her dad up to Boston. Um, last year and I just haven't been able to use it so I'm just gonna you know um, break into this little kit and use the blush in here let's try this on and see how it looks oh pretty okay I like this blush a lot it has a little bit of kickback but it's okay no biggie 
Okay, let's see. What else do I want to do? Do I want to go into highlight or do I want to do my eyes? I think I'm going to do my eyes first. Um, and for that, I couldn't find an eyeshadow primer either. So I'm just going to go ahead and use my Milani eyeshadow primer. I got these um, single pan shadows. And these are from Simple Colors as well. And it comes with a purple shade and a champagne type of shade down here at the bottom. <clears throat> so this is the champagne color. And they both have shimmer on them. So, ooh, it's very soft to the touch. To the touch. That's very pigmented and very, very pretty. And then the purple one. This one is also shimmery. And this one has like specks of like pink and blue shimmer. Ooh. Okay, so this one, when I first touched it, it looked very pigmented. But when you put it on your hand, um, it's very sheer. So, I mean, it's very pretty. It's not patchy or nothing for, you know, for being a purple. Because purples sometimes get patchy. Um, it's very sheer, but it's not patchy. Patchy? <laughs> I don't know why I say that word. Um, but it's actually very pretty. Like, if you put a darker shade underneath and then you want to add some sparkle, that would be pretty. Um, these are called the Shade Boss powder eyeshadows by simple colors as well <clears throat> I also found this which intrigued me a lot I am very much into liquid shadow right now I think that it's so easy to use and it's like quick and on the go like perfect so um, I wanted to pick up this to give it a try is the shady babe dual cream eyeshadow by simple colors when I first saw this I thought it was nail polish because Dollar Tree a while ago, um, they sold these like, um, what do you call it, nail polishes that look like exactly like this by Revlon, and that's what I thought they were at first, but when I read that they were eyeshadow, I was like, oh, yes, I want to try that. So one side is like a teal color, and the other side is like a light pink, um, and I'm going to swatch them real quick just to see how intense they are, or not, you know, you never know. Ooh, that's pretty. <laughs> that's really pretty. I thought that they were going to be just like sheer <laughs> and not much to it, you know, but it's not. It's actually, ooh, this blue one is so pretty. It's like a teal. I'm excited. <laughs> okay, so I have those. And then I have two eyeshadow palettes here. Or two little eyeshadow palettes, I should say. Um, and I think that's it as far as eyeshadow. So that's what I have as far as eyeshadow. I have this one by LA Colors in Smoky. And this one in Rose. So, I think that I'm going to use the Rose one. Because I think that I want to use the, um, the, the light pink. Um, liquid shadow so I'm gonna crack into this little palette right here and they're so adorable I mean when I saw these I thought they were so cute the pants are very small though <laughs> they're so tiny um, and it comes with one of these which I never use so I'm gonna use my own brushes and I'm gonna go in to let's see let's see I'm gonna use this fluffy brush to go into I'm gonna use this light pink color right there they don't have names or nothing okay sponge get lost um they don't have names or nothing so I'm just gonna go into like this little light pink shadow right there and I'm just gonna set my um, primer that I put because I want a nice clean base to start with I don't think I've ever tried LA color shadows before. I don't think I have. There, there is another palette in the kit that my daughter grabbed, um, gave me, and this one is the color Prism palette, and it looks to be yeah, it's the same exact size as those other ones. Um, and then this is what it looks like. That's another one of those little sponge things. Ooh, this one's really pretty. That yellow one looks really cute. So that's what that one looks like. But I think I'm going to save those for another time. I'm just going to stick to the rose one. 
I'm not gonna do like a crazy look or anything. I just kind of want to test the shadows and see how long they last, you know, if they even last anything, are they pigmented, you know, what the deal with the shadows is. That's what I want to see. So let's see, I'm gonna go in to, I'm gonna go ahead and go into the Smoky palette and I'm going to use this like purplish color right here and I'm gonna use that as my transition shade. I'm just gonna put that on my crease. I'm gonna use the same fluffy brush that I used to set the primer with. Building the color, it's not like it's not showing up at all. I am building it and it's building nicely. Like it's blending really nicely. My only concern, because they're blending so nicely, is that all of the colors are just gonna blend together to create one single color. Because that tends to happen a lot when shadows are this creamy, like this blendable. <laughs> okay, so that's what it's looking so far. The palette that was in the little kit, and I'm gonna go in with this little darker purple. It looks to be like a dark purple and I'm just gonna try and put that on my crease a little bit just to intensify the color I'm gonna switch brushes I'm gonna go back to my rose palette and I'm gonna go into I'm gonna go into this like dark pink right here and I'm it's, it's a little bit of a satin type of shade it's not shimmery whatsoever it's like a satin and it's lighter than i thought it was gonna be <laughs> but i'm gonna try and put that let's see i'm gonna add that in the crease just to <clears throat> line it up a little bit and let's try and put this in our lid and see what happens. Okay, I was mostly intrigued because I have a liquid shadow from... <sighs> I can't remember the brand. I think... <sighs> I can't remember if it's Revlon or Maybelline. I think it's Maybelline and um, it doesn't go good on top of like powder shadow. I've tried to use it like I used this one today and it just it doesn't want to work. It doesn't work at all. So this one actually went on pretty good but it's very wet and when I close my eyes it does feel a little sticky so I'm just kind of seeing if it dries because I don't want it to stick to my upper lid and then we'll just have a mess in our hands. So I'm just gonna try it really quickly and see. So I went ahead and finished the other eye. Um, I have a few things to say about um, this little guy right here. Okay, so it's not bad. It actually looks really, really, really good. Like it looks really good. Um, but when it first dries, it feels kind of hard and heavy on your eye um, and it takes a minute I guess when it's like fully fully dry and then like with the movement of your eyes um, the hardness kind of goes away so now I can't even feel the hardness um, but it does it's, it's not it's not a very comfortable feeling like the Stila eyeshadows or um, even the ColourPop eyeshadows, all of those are like super comfortable, like you can't even feel them. They feel just like powder. Um, with this one, you can still kind of feel that is there, if that makes sense. Um, it doesn't feel hard, it doesn't feel sticky, um, but it's kind of like a, I don't want to say heaviness because it's not really heavy, but you can, you can feel it. You can feel that you have liquid shadow um if that makes sense 
Um, another thing too is when they dry, they do not move. They do not move. So if you make a mistake or if you, you know, make a, a line like me that I made this little line right there slightly bigger than the other, it's going to stay there. There's no way to fix it unless you take it off because it's just, it's stuck. It's stuck there. So I don't know how I feel about that, but it doesn't look bad. I mean, for a dollar, it looks pretty good. Um, the pigment is there. It went on really nicely um, on my lids. It's just those few little things that I was like, oh, about. Would I use it again? Uh, maybe I would. Maybe I will try to use it more like a liner, maybe. Not so much on all of my eyelid, but maybe just on part of my eyelid or maybe down at the bottom. Um, but yeah, those are my thoughts on that shadow. Um, I went ahead and just finished the, the crease as well. I see myself um, using this, these shadows for work every day. I really do because they look really good. They, they do. They look really good. If they wear as good as they look, then I will definitely see myself using these shadows every day. So I'm going to go ahead and just do my um, bottom lash line. And I'm just going to grab... <sighs> Let's see what I want to do. I'm going to go into the smoky palette and I'm just going to grab that purpley shade and that's the one that I'm going to put first on my bottom lash. They are pretty good. They are really, really good. And uh, one thing that I do like about them is that, you know, I was concerned because they were so like um, blendable and so soft and nice. I was concerned that all the colors were going to come together and just create one color, but actually that's not the case. All of the color, I'm able to see all of the colors that I placed down nicely. So I'm very excited about that because I hate when I use shadows and they all blend together and then you can't even see like the mixture of colors that I try to, you know, come up with. <laughs> So that really upsets me sometimes. So I'm going to leave my eyes like this. I didn't want to do too, too much to them. I just kind of wanted to mainly focus on that liquid shadow, which I really liked a lot. Um, now I did find a um, liquid liner and this is by LA Colors and it's in matte. So I'm excited to try this. Um, I'm not that great with this type of um, liners. I prefer like a pen type of liner, but you know, we'll give it a try. I'm gonna wing it out. I'm just gonna leave it like that. That's what it looks like so far. It's definitely a lot thicker than I intended it to be because I suck at these. I just suck at these so bad. I wish they had like a pen form, but they didn't. So I'm stuck with this. So I finished applying my <laughs> liner. Um, like I said, I suck at these type of liners. So my line was a little bit thicker than I intended it to be, but oh well, what can we do? Um, we'll talk about that in a little bit. Right now, I'm gonna go into that little kit again that my daughter got me, and I'm going to use the LA um, eyeliner, and I'm going to put this on my waterline. It's too pointy. It honestly is not the worst pencil I've used, honestly. Um, it's pretty pigmented. I've used pencils before from the Dollar Tree. Um, the old, the old, old Wet n Wild pencils that they used to sell at Dollar Tree, those barely had any pigment whatsoever to them. This one has a lot of pigment. It's a little dry, but it has pigment on it. Um, let's see what else. We're getting down to the last few things. Um... Another thing that I'm kind of excited to try now, I hate doing my brows. I hate it, hate it, hate it so much. Hate doing my brows. Um, I do do them when I have something important to do or when I'm going to go on a date with my husband or something. Something like that, I do, you know, go and take the time and do my brows. But for work and for my everyday life, I just kind of, you know, um, brush through them and then go as I please <laughs> but I did find this um fill and set your brows brush 
thing at um, Dollar Tree by LA Colors and I was intrigued by them. And then this is the color medium brown and it's a tint. So I'm kind of intrigued to try this if I can get it out um, and see how it works. I was kind of surprised that I found anything for brows there because I'll, I just thought that they weren't going to have anything for, you know, for your eyebrows. They don't have concealer, so I didn't think anything for the brows. And then I saw this and I was like, okay, I'm going to give it a try and see how that works. So I'm excited. I think... I think it might be a little too light for me even though it says medium brown it kind of looks like a blonde kind of color but let's see I don't know yep that just happened um, the brush is very thick which uh, I don't think I like very much it holds a lot of product and then you just kind of get it everywhere and I'm trying not to and this color is definitely too light for me even though it says medium brown it's more like a dark blonde type of color so and it definitely tints like it definitely tints your brows wow that's very bold I don't think I like that <laughs> oh my god how do I fix this now Okay, let's see if I can fix it using a regular spoolie. Okay, so let's move on to mascara. This is this is something that I'm kind of excited about just because I am so picky with my mascaras. I am so picky with my mascaras. I don't wear false lashes, so I'm always looking for mascaras that are going to do everything that a false lash does. I do have fairly big lashes um so i like to make them look like they're fake but they're not so um i that's the reason why i am very 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 picky with my lash with my um mascara so we're gonna give this mascara a go um i've never seen this mascara at the dollar tree before either it's by sinful colors and it's called the the diva lash color mascara and i got mine in the i think it's in black in the color black okay let's see what it looks like okay the brush looks nice this is the type of brushes that I'm usually you know drawn into I like my brushes to be black uh, I like my brushes to be um like big and fluffy like this I also prefer these types of brushes more than the um more than the what do you call it the plastic ones i hate those brushes because they hurt my eyes all the time so let's see how the formula is it's definitely not a thick formula it's a very thin formula which i don't tend to like um I don't feel like it's doing a whole lot. Um, I've tried mascara that does a way better job than this and also very affordable. For instance, Essence. Essence is one of my favorite brands of makeup and their mascara is amazing and it's only like $2.99. So I always try to compare cheap mascara or like inexpensive mascara to those because those are inexpensive and they're amazing so if they can do it everybody else can do it so um it's not the worst mascara that i've tried ever but it's also not the best i've tried ever so it's doing something to my lashes but not enough it's not the effect that I like. It's definitely a mascara that you have to build. Um, and if you let them dry for a little bit and then go back in, it's much better. I usually don't like doing that with my mascara. I kind of just like to apply it, you know, wet. So I go over and over and over and over it until I get the effect that I want. But with this one, I'm noticing that if you let it dry for a minute and then go in again, um, it's better. It gives you a better effect. 
So I'm just gonna um, let it dry for a little bit while I do the other side. So I went ahead and finished my mascara. I honestly don't hate the mascara. I actually think that it's really good. If you have the time to build it up, it's worth it because it looks really nice and I actually do enjoy it. And I actually think that I will repurchase this mascara again depending on how it wears. Um, it's all in the wear for me because as far as I, like this far, I've liked everything. I've liked everything that I've tried, honestly. But for me, it's all in the wear. Like how long is it gonna wear before this stuff starts to break down? So is it worth it? Because if it's gonna start breaking down within an hour or two, it's not worth it for me. But if it's going to last longer than that, then you know, I might be tempted to use this makeup for my everyday life. It's cheap, it's only a dollar. So um, I think that the final two steps that I have is lips and highlight. Now for highlights, I kind of went a little crazy because highlight is one of my favorite things to do as far as makeup goes. So I actually have a lot of different types of um, highlighters to use and I don't know how I'm going to apply all of these in my face, but we're going to try. I have five different highlights to try. The first one that I have is this LA Colors um, Highlight. I love makeup and this is what it looks like. I saw this and I was like, oh, it's probably not that great. But as I continued to look through the makeup, there was one of these and it was broken. And I accidentally touched it. And when I touched it, I was like, what? I was actually pretty impressed. So I bought it because I want to try it on my face. <laughs> and so this is what it looks like. I'm going to swatch it really quickly just so you guys can see and it's that right there so I think I'm going to apply this on one side of my cheeks just because I want to try as much of these as I can so I'm gonna go ahead and apply this to my left side I don't think the light is helping, but it looks good, like it's there. It might be a little too white for me, so putting a lot of it is probably not a good idea. I kind of went overboard. So I'm just going to take my big fluffy brush and just kind of blend it out okay so that specific color is just a tad bit too light for me so I can definitely see it um but it's still kind of pretty it's not my favorite highlight that I've ever used but you know it's kind of pretty but that's the reason why I bought so many other ones because I wanted to try different ones not just one and um, I believe they have different colors in this one, but they don't have names. Um, I just got the one that looks kind of champagne color. Um, I don't think the light does it justice, but I mean, it's there. I see it. Okay, and then I found this other one by um, also LA Colors, and this is in the color Glow Time, and it's more like a pinky highlight. So I'm going to put this on the other side of my face. And I'm going to use a different brush for this one here. And I'm going to go into that one. This one is more pink. And I'm just going to hit my face with it. Oh, it's there. I see it. But just like the other one, it might be just a tad bit too light for me. And I can see it. <laughs> I tend to like my highlights to blend into my skin, but oh my gosh, look at that glow. Um, I like um, highlights that, you know, blend into my skin and look like it's me, like it's glowing from my skin and not from the makeup I put on. So um, these highlights are definitely highlights that, this one doesn't look as bad as this one. I think this one's a little too light for me. This one's a little bit darker than this one, so it might look a little bit better. Um, but I mean, it's glowy, it's shiny, it's pretty. So 
that's that. And then I have this other um, liquid um, highlight. And this is the LA Colors uh, liquid highlight in the color Candlelight. And I think that I'm going to pop this one in my inner corner just to see how it looks. Just because I'm running out of room to put highlight. Um, let's swatch it first really quick and see how it looks like. Oh, it's very subtle. It's not it's not super glowy. It's kind of subtle, but um, it's that one right there. If you guys can see it, that was an awkward place to put a highlight, but it's right there. So I'm just going to put a little bit of this on my inner corner. I'm just going to grab a brush. I usually don't put like liquid highlights on my inner corner, but today I will because <laughs> I'm running out of places to put highlight. Actually, it doesn't look so bad in my inner corner. It's actually very pretty. I like it. I might just put a little bit on my brow bone. It actually looks really pretty. I like it as an inner corner highlight. I bet this would look really pretty like before you put your foundation. Just add a little bit of this and then add your foundation. That's how this would look really pretty. And then the last two things that I have here are the LA Colors Loose Face and Body Shimmers. And I have two of them. I have one in the color Fairy Dust, which is like a purple. And I have one in Magical Dust, which is more like a pink. Like a pink peachy color. So I think that I'm going to put these maybe like here, my brow bone. And my brow bone, listen to me. <laughs> I think I'm going to put these um, maybe like right here just so we can see how, you know, how they are. How pigmented they are. I'm gonna grab some in this brush right here. This is the purple one. So I'm just gonna add that right there. I feel like the light doesn't really do anything. It's very shimmery. It's more like a glittery type of situation. Yeah, I can see it, but it's more like a glitter type of situation. So it's not going to look like wet or anything. It's going to look like glitter. Um, so that's what the purple one looks like. Yeah. I can see the glitter. It looks nice. Like if you're going to a party or something and you just want to add a little bit on your chest or your shoulders if you're showing off your shoulders. Um, you can even add it to your face. You can kind of see it right there. Um, you can add it to your face if you don't mind the glitter. I'm just not um, like a glitter on my face type of person. But maybe like for Halloween or something like that, this would be good on the face. I can see myself wearing it on the face. Okay, and so as far as lips go, I couldn't really find um, much either, but I had found these uh, a little bit ago at Dollar Tree, and they're from NYC, and they are the liquid lip shines, and I have the color... Um, New York City and Midtown Mulberry. So I think I'm going to go in with um, New York City just because it's like a nude color. <laughs> and these are actually really pretty. I enjoy these a lot. Actually, NYC was one of my favorite brands. Um, but they got discontinued everywhere around my city. So I can't find them anywhere except the Dollar Tree, and Dollar Tree only carries them sometimes, not all the time, which sucks. But whenever I see something at Dollar Tree, I always grab it. And these happened to be there. And they're so beautiful, and I love them so, so much. Um, okay, you guys, so we came to the end of this, um, 
video. <laughs> Um, I do have to say that everything looks really good. I am impressed. I am so, so impressed by everything that I tried today. I thought that um, I was going to hate everything, honestly. I thought, you know, when I bought all this stuff, I was like, oh my gosh, I know that I'm going to make a video, but it's kind of like a waste of money because I know I'm going to hate everything. And actually... Actually, it's not. Actually, I am so surprised of how much I like everything that I've tried. Um, let's see. I loved the foundation. Like, no joke, no lies, no nothing. Like, I like this foundation. And if it wears good, oh my gosh, it's worth it. It's worth it. The only thing is that they, don't, they have three shades. That's the only bad thing is that they have three shades. And I'm not happy about that. But, um... I mean, it's, it's nice. It's good. If you're around my skin tone, they're nice. Okay, so um, my last step is just to um, set my face. And for that, I use my Wet n Wild Cucumber um, Setting um, Mist that they sell at basically everywhere. Walmart, Walgreens, everywhere. And they're like five bucks. So pretty affordable um and yeah i'm going to see how this makeup wears i might come back and do a check-in um because i'm really curious about how specifically the face products are going to wear so um if i don't see you guys later i hope that you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you did and join the family and um i have a lot of videos planned and i'm so excited because i have a lot of things that i'm dying to try that i still haven't gotten a chance to and they are coming um up next within the last in the next okay, you guys so i had to come in here really quickly because i when to do some stuff around the house and I actually got to see my face a little closer like in the mirror and stuff and look at that highlight I I'm actually very impressed with the highlight I think that both highlights look so beautiful and they're not as light on my face as I thought that they were they actually look really good they look very dewy and stuff and they don't look glittery or nothing and I just wanted to come in here and really guys let you know um, how much I really do like the highlights. I think they're beautiful because before I told you that um, they looked like they were a little too light for my skin and I didn't know how I felt about them because they didn't look very glowy. No, they're glowy. It's just the lighting in my kitchen area was not helping. But yeah, that highlight is really good. It looks really, really good. Um, so far my makeup looks really good. I'm so impressed. I'm so surprised by everything that I tried and I love it. I can't believe that I liked the majority of the things that I bought at Dollar Tree. I mean, I, I'm, my mind is still blown. But yeah, I just wanted to pop in here and kind of share that with you guys. Okay, I'll see you later. Bye. Okay, so this is my last check-in. Um, I've had this makeup on for about close to nine hours now it is 8 40 i'm about to take my makeup off and i'm about to go to bed because i'm so tired i've been up since really early this morning and i'm just ready to take this makeup off and go to bed um uh again like i've said a million times i am so impressed with everything that i tried today i honestly thought that i um, I was going to have a lot of misses that I was not going to be happy with this makeup, but actually it was the total opposite. I'm actually very happy with everything that I tried. Um, the only thing that makes me a little uncomfortable is the eyeshadow. Um, it didn't crack at all, as you guys can see. It didn't crack. I thought that it was going to because of the way that it feels, but it didn't. Um, it actually looks good, but it does feel a little heavy in my eyelids, like I can feel that it's there, and I don't like that feeling, so, um, I don't think that I will wear it all over my eyelid like I did today. Um, maybe I can possibly try it as an eyeliner and see how that works, but I wouldn't wear it all over my lid. 
um because it was a bit uncomfortable i am more of like i don't like to feel my makeup as much as i just like to look at it <laughs> i like to be very comfortable with it um and that eyeshadow was definitely not comfortable um but yeah i liked everything the highlight the foundation the only second part is there there's only three shades i hate that um but if you find a shade that will match you i suggest you try it out because it's actually really nice it even out your skin and it feels comfortable and it looks good like i'm looking at myself in the mirror right now and it looks good like it hasn't broken or it doesn't look kinky it doesn't look um bad it's, it's actually pretty good um i mean you can still see my little blemishes that i have on my um chin um because it's not full coverage obviously but it covered a lot and it made my skin even um color wise and yeah the blush is there the highlights there everything's there i'm so impressed and i'm so happy with these products i'm definitely going to keep using them on my everyday life um and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up i will catch you guys on my next video um and yeah i'll see you later bye